Hi, I hear this pretty often and um, that, and it, I cringe at it. I'm just being real with you that it just goes through me when people say everybody's a children of God. We're all children of God. And it's like inclusive of the whole world. And uh, that's, you know, are we all the children of God? I would give you a two part answer. It sounds like, again, I've done this a lot, like speaking out of two sides of my mouth. Yet, yeah, no, I would say no first and then yes. In a sense, we are. And I'd like to try and um, break that down and see if I'm, you know, can share what I think. And I've got, I really got a lot of scripture on this that, you know, that is really biblical. And that is, in a sense, um, because he's our creator, I'll say this, creator, okay? Uh, and then I will say father over here. Now, in a sense, because we are made in the image of God, it says in, in, in Genesis 1, 26, it says, let us make man in our own, what, image, likeness? And, you know, you kind of have the features of your dad and your mom a lot of times, parent. So in that sense, he created us, um, but, you know, we fell from him and spiritually we died and we're, the Bible says, Jesus said in, in John 8, you're children of the devil. You know, how can they be father, God's their father and children of the devil? So I don't want to be too confusing here, but basically I think it's more like um, we're the, in the creations of God that he created us. In Adam, it says in Luke 3, it says he was a son of God um, and he was made. He wasn't born. He was made from dust and all. But I think that's I think there's I think that's more like in the sense that he's made us. He's the father of the world in that sense. Um, in, a, in a way, you know, we could say, you know how the phrase uh, that George Washington is a father of our country? I'm not in his line of ancestry, you know, I don't think. You know, so he's kind of the title of, of, the, of, the, of the head, the representative head of, of our country in a sense, George Washington. But I wasn't his kid. And Jesus said, this is where we're going to go over here. This is where I think it's stronger over here, the notion uh, that we must be born again. Well, why? If you're already born and you're his child, no, you got to be born again. And a really major word throughout uh, the New Testament in the, uh, in the writings of the uh, apostles, particularly Paul, it says you've got to be adopted. In Ephesians 1, it says it, uh, in, in Galatians 4 and Romans 8 and passages, it's by faith in Jesus that you become. It's faith in Jesus. It, you have to come in Christ to become a born again child of God. And no, you're not a child of God. You have to be adopted into his family. And then you actually literally get the nature of the father inside you. And you really do become a son of God. Like I remember First John 3, it says, behold, um, you know, how, what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. And it says, beloved, we now, now we are the sons of God, you know. And then it says, uh, we don't even know, what, I mean, we're going to find out the full sonship is later when, see, in a sense, our physical bodies, in a sense, are, are begotten by him or begotten of him in a sense. But remember how it says, here's another one. Oh, that's all over, by the way. John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only what? Only begotten son. He only had one son at one time. We weren't his kids, in a sense. So I'm dividing this up. I would say, no, we're really not. Most people are not children of God. They have to get saved to become a child of God. And that is throughout the passages that I quoted. If you look those verses up, um, you know, there's, a, here's another one. First John chapter three talks about here are the children of the devil, the children of God. Those who practice righteousness are living right. Those are the ones who are children of God. The others are not children of God. They're not righteous before God. So yet you go, yeah, but you know, give me a scripture over here. Well, there's only one that I know of and it's Acts 17, somewhere down there, uh, like middle or near the end. Paul's talking to them and he quotes a uh, Greek philosopher or something. He said, we are, we are all the offspring of God. So offspring of God kind of sense, gives a sense of offspring, you know, children. But that's kind of a generic way of saying it. Um, but Paul would say, no, to be able to become a child of God, he's the one who quoted a lot of this, you know, to really become where you can say, our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's you've got to be a son, a child, a daughter of God. And those are the ones who accept Jesus, have faith in Jesus, and, uh, and then receive the blood of Jesus. And then from there, he adopts you into his family. 
So I'm not trying to pick pick a fight with anyone, <laughs> but I, th I I just I don't see everyone in the sense of childhood. Of course, then we could take the passage, uh, the great parable, my favorite parable of Jesus in Luke in Luke 15. He, he talks about the coin, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and he says a lost son. Well, both of them kind of lost the two sons, and uh, and then it was a great illustration. They went out, came back, and the father. He was a child of the Father. Now, it doesn't say whether it was Christian or not. It doesn't say that. So it's a beautiful picture of like the lost sons of Adam, sort of, and, or even the people who are Christians who fall away. I don't think so. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The whole point is the, it's really pointed on the Father and his love, and he forgives, and he doesn't condemn, and he looks for you. He's out there looking for him. So I, I adopt. Oh, you know what? I, I got to put a, B, a P here. I said adoption. You probably saw it say, Gordon, that's bothering me. Adoption. But um, so I really have more weight over here. And, and, and really, there's a, a definite line there where not everyone is a child of God. Uh, literally, they become a child of God when they accept Christ in, in their lives. So that's just something to think about when you say it. And I guess we could say in one sense we are like I believe there is a sense but I I wasn't a child of God until I got saved and now I'm in his family a child of God okay and there's a lot of verses way more about being sons and children of God in the New Testament uh, than a few like Acts 17 that kind of hint at maybe you know in a sense we're created by him he he gave us life and everything so in that sense we're he's our father all right God bless you talk to you some other time